We're back after half time. Thunderous thumpings. Now it's time to think defensively. Set up your players in defensive. Alright, so last time the bastards ran through a load of holes. I don't want holes in my line. I want you bastards to at least have to roll. Done. What's this? The charioteers are looking very angry and seem to be ignoring the ball. What's going on, Bob? Ah, it's a great, Jeb. This is much better. I've got word from a reporter on the ground. Jock Strap. Strap. He says that the bath in the charioteers' locker room has been replaced by a cauldron of blood. This is real death. Which hell is used to bathe in? No offense, all right. Confusing high elves for dark elves. That's a big faux pas. More than a faux pas. It's so they're going to be very offensive. aggressive. All right. The right side jump has given these goody-goody elves a bit of an edge. Now they're vicious instead of being all poncy. Like right. I said, I'm no racist. Wood elf, dark elf, high elf. <laughs> Not that funny a joke. Game, Bob. How do you feel about being in such an important match? Uh, indifferent, Jim. Ask me again when there's more blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to punch a hole. So are you just basically going to be fighty, punchy, punchy, fighty for the rest of this thing? Having learnt my lesson previously. Yeah, no, go the other way. Then you'd have had a hole. I'm trying to punch a hole in my lines. Try and actually punch a hole in my lines. But right, so you've moved up to Mark. We've got 16 turns. Eight turns, so that's another move, but that doesn't make you any much of a hole. Alright, so you didn't go and get the ball. I'm going to leave my rear rank where they are. Alright. Right. Let's put some faces in the dirt, shall we? That's painful to get through to the ball. Is this going to be enough to come out on top? Hmm. Didn't want to move. I'm not going to spend the reroll. Knock him that way. And. Stay. Out of the way, man. No. Hit him. We should play pinball with this elf. Um, follow. Knock him back a little bit. All right. You, I number. Yeah, I will smack you that way, and then I will follow. Oh, a knockout! Nice. One less elf to worry about. Let's get that. Um oh, interesting. So I would have knocked that elf out. There would be a gap over there. You come up. Nice. You hit. That way. And follow him. Ooh, one heavy punch to an elf in the face. So now, notionally, I can get there. 
which I'm going to do because it's going to make them have to worry about it because now I'm in a position where I could potentially push up further on the ball you've got a lot of going for it can you hit him hard? you can well, that's quite a mismatch Bob I know that kind of stumbles <laughs> go that way Let's stay in your position With arms like oh, oh that's a punch there was only going to be one result in that spot. and you hit him go that way follow him up <laughs> right. You can't really reach very far, but I am kind of happy just to have a pair in reserve. So that means I've got nothing else to do but to leg it. Very <laughs> rollings, rollings, rollings. Still on his feet. In that turn. So you're ganging up on him over here quite badly. Yep, ganging up on him. Yep, I figured you'd move up on that one, so I'm expecting a blitz to come his way. But can you get... Well, you can't blitz both of them. They're gathering around that lone player. Ow. Like halflings round a sandwich. There's a punch to the face. <laughs> So which one are you going to try and blitz? <laughs> yeah, you did use your reroll. Twinkle toes there. But I got out of the way. I'm moving up over to here. Where are you gonna blitz? You won't leave him alone anytime soon. Can't blitz both my runners. Looks like one of my guys on the floor. Okay. Alright. Stand up. Stand up. I've got three rerolls available. I can't use all of them at once. Okay. So you've pinned both of them a little bit, but I could potentially get you some space. You, I can't, so you're a more risky option. That's a reserve option for later, and if I get the score, it doesn't make much difference. All right, you come up to here. The players arrive to assist their teammate. Any other movement I want to do? Yeah, I want to get that lineman up to here. Let's back up. Just to add a little bit more presence on that front line. Yeah, you are in a bit of trouble, but... Blitz. Come to there. Yeah, smells Hit like him. A good old -fashioned fight. Defender down. Defender stumbled. I want Defender down, and I want him out of the way. And then I want you to follow him. So when he stands up next turn... You're in his face. All right. You get that. Got a reroll. I'll take it. Got enough tackle zones on that ball. And now the opponent. Then another touchdown. <laughs> and that's what happens if you don't. All right, things I learned. Yelling. Is it too late for the other side to counter? Things I learned from that one. If you can get two people forward into space, they can only blitz one of them. Oh, and they're still down, down a team member. Yeah, so if you get two guys out into space, they can pin so them down, but they can't the blitz both of them. Seem to have awoken in time for the next down. That must be one heck of a dream they have. And if you leave the ball unmarked, people will do exactly what I just did. Which is try and run on it. Of the ball, not lose it. Strike back would be terrible. Right there, That's the center. All right, out of the far wing, but close to one of those players. Are you going to pick it up, or are you scripted to be dumb and just aggressive?
Yep, I figured you'd take the hit. So you basically moved up to my line. You following? Yes, you did. Make a bit of a hole. Now it's going to move up to there, so you're likely going to punch it that way. Into the opponent's tackle should be good. I'm strong because he's hitting my catcher. All right. I think I think about moving my catcher into a slightly better position. All right. You're both double marked, so it's not going to help. But you are outnumbered. A little bit. So you pushed me back, but they're still blocked up. All right. I believe that's my other catcher who's down on the ground. Alright, we have a lot of evasion to try and get the ball from there. You can move up, but not by far. Alright, you just stand up. Right. Who's marked and who's not marked? There's no way you're getting through up there. Alright, if you can hit him. Yes, beautiful. And that way. And then follow. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll take that reroll. I've got several. I don't mind if he fumbles this. That's fine. pressure on it. If they want to go and try and get it, they're going to have a bit of trouble. Maybe we should have built that guy up. They are just forming a... Well, it's, we're going to call a pain line, basically. They're matching up to me, and then they're intent on smashing me in the face a bit. What I probably should have done is, that was my risky play, I probably should have done that one later. Ooh! There are those. It's not advanced when you do get doubles on doubles, they don't count for doubles. Just increase the armor break chance. That's just a move. It'll probably knock me yeah, straight back. I have a lot of guys who are just basically going to be able to. Well, moving. So my line is pretty heavily shattered right now. But you are paying no attention to the ball. A lot of shunts. Are you going to stand that guy up? Or are you going to leave him down? I think the AI is smart enough to leave guys on the edge down. Alright. Stand up. And. Could have a chance to get out of that dodge. You, however, can move up into here. Which means that that should be a worthwhile attack. Alright, both down, but neither of them are blockers, so I'm just going to punch you this way. And follow. Thump. And I'm going to return the favour. And bunch you this way. Thunt. Uh, stay that time. Hold the line. Alright. I've got rerolls. You're not under any threat. There is a huge gaping gap over there. But you're not making any move towards the ball. I will bring my throw up just to provide a little bit more offensive positioning. And then try that pickup. Good catch, but also near to the end zone. Alright, do you have the movement? You do. Ball Yay! Easy. Let's see how far you can get. Just that after the touchdown. Alright, so these elves, despite the fact that they're entire tactic, if you know, throw... We're well over halfway and we're still not right? So these elves, 
basically only actually played properly as well, but just get the ball and move. Their dreams of rest, winning this one team is lighter play, not a significant difference, can impact the game. So I suspect the original idea, these elves, yes, do their running and pushing and all the rest of it, but now they've just decided, you know what, let's ignore the ball and form up. It's an odd one. I just wonder, it's like, alright, so yeah, first bit of the game I didn't do too well, but I got my head around like, okay, this is when you cage, because the AI was doing a bit better, but right now these guys seem to be very, very determined just to try and hurt me. And now I'm 3 0 up, because for two, twice in a row now, they've completely left the ball unguarded. I didn't move my catches off the back again. Yay. That was clever of me. That's it. Get in their face. Okay. What do we got? Hmm. Alright then, come on. Wail on me for a bit. I'm 3 0 up. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to do it, so. I'm apparently not. I have heard there's experience points to be gained, but I am flat out and simply not earning any at the moment. So there's not a great deal of in me doing anything other than really just holding these guys up. Um, and you know, just trying to reduce the numbers a little bit. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? And stay. Yep, chanted him around a little bit. There he goes. I'd be worried if they were going for the ball. But they're not. They are apparently entirely intent on hurting my players. Aggressive, yeah. I can imagine it would work better if at least one of them was going and getting the ball and they were putting in a change in position so they would be threatening that if oh if they got through my lines I might actually be concerned but their response is to be literally to ignore the ball and just try and hit me in the face leaving this gap over here open again Literally, their thrower is up here. I mean, unless I've got their thrower on his ass. But no, there's their thrower. Just to burn another reroll. Yeah, you're right. You breached my lines. There's a huge grouping hole for you to charge through. And your response is to do nothing. In fact, to unmark a player who can make a run on the ball. He won't leave him alone any time. And stunned. Nice. You're not getting anywhere. The, uh, the enormous great big honking of the turnover. And stand up. Fine man. Move up into that gap. Just to be a presence. You get that. His hands in the changing mm, rooms. Skip. I'll get it next turn. Turn 15, and you are still dragging players all the way over here, entirely ignoring the fact that I have a man next to the ball all the way that deep in your heart. Scripted AI is not providing much of a challenge today. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, when we get further on in the campaign, it will. You know, we'll actually get to have some fun. <laughs> See, I'm not even bothered commentating about this. Ooh, it's both down, but the block kicked in. And the vice count Bosch is stunned! Bosch got boshed. Again. Poor bugger seemed to get boshed a lot. The attacker has Endless an amount of boshing. Come on, hurry up and finish wailing on me. I'm gonna push me back. That's fine. 
you got a beautiful hole for you to put a catcher down if you had the ball. That's nice. Alright, you're stunned. You need to stand up. And you need to stand up. You like this. The player's taking the ball. And the end and then is go there. Four nil. A for me. Oh, slightly unhappy numbers drawing out there. Yeah, I don't care about the cheerleaders. You're still unconscious. You're about to start the next town, but none of the KO players have woken up. Let's swap the catches over. So we're basically that's my vague formation. Actually, let's just tweak this a little bit. The idea being just providing a little bit more defense for my catches. So I will save that setup. Yes. Alright, I'm going to leave my defense as it is. We're literally on the last turn. I've got two rerolls, they've got none. Confirm setup. Let's get this finished. We are 4 0 up. I'm going to be really nice. I am to deliberately give you the ball to see if we'll do anything with it. Yep, touchback. Turn 16. Your response is to run the ball carrier right. Yeah, you are scripted as hell. <laughs> you are scripted to stupidity and back. I know you were going to actually bring me the ball like that. I would have uh, kicked it to you in the first place. On the edge of the field, within <laughs> grasping range of the fans, and they're looking hungry. If the player is pushed here, it will finish in the public. And in general, fans are much more dangerous than players. <laughs> All right, let's just carry on with this then. Oh, an okay. What's happening down there? Get up or get off the field. Uh, yeah, they don't have an apothecary, so that's the turnover. And I get a turn, apparently. All right, that's one catcher down. You come around to here or not? I'll be ending the turn that quickly. I'm at least going to over the ball carrier. The ball carrier Bob. I know, Jim. I'm watching the same match as you. And follow him up. They can do this. They're in with a chance of turning this back on his head. Not really. It's four 0 Stand up. Oh, you're a bitter. You catch. And it didn't come off. Yay! That's the game. After that match, I need to change my underguard. Yeah, do your const or whatever. So that's gone and done it, Bob. Even Spike magazines calling for the Reavers' coach's head. Who knew that mistaking one race for another could cause so much trouble? Hmm. I've never seen it before, Jim. JJ's canny enough, Bob. As long as the Reavers are winning, he may overlook the pressure to sack the coach. And a goblin leading the Reavers? I can't see the fans being happy about that. Not but even when your own sponsor's calling for the coach's head? I'm not so sure, Jim. And don't forget that JJ's no longer a rich man. He needs the Bell Polisher's cash to keep the team going. You must continue to develop your staff by hiring some of the vital players, the apothecary. Alright. Team roster. Use severity of an injury once per match. Alright, I will now they got buy an apothecary. Sticks and stones. We'll break their bones, but Bob will come Substitute or two. 
That, that's how the rhyme goes, isn't it? Make sure you've recruited more than 11 players. You never know. I've got 13. Well, let's get a spare thrower. Confirm purchases. And I'll have another team reroll. Since I've got apparently the cash. Alright. Switch players. Oh, that means I can move people around. Alright. Back. Mm, thank you. No. Alright, I need to hit that button again then. It's not automatic. Alright, so yeah. I'll have it lined up like that. The spare thrower is actually just a completely spare thrower. Alright, grand. Back. Yep, there we go, there's the next match. Uh, inflict three injuries on them, apparently. Zug challenge, obligatory. Alright, well, I wonder if we'll get anything for that. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I have been the Marmoset. That was an incredibly easy scripted um, game. 26% uh, of the way through the uh, campaign. Hopefully, later matches will be a bit trickier. Bye for now.